Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We will begin today's proceedings. Welcome to the official handover ceremony of the children's playground to the Farsaw Preschool. My name is Donna Charles, and as we commence today's proceedings, I would like to acknowledge the presence of Honorable Isikel Joseph, Parliamentary Representative for Babano, and also Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Natural Resources and Cooperatives. Honorable Dr. Gail Rigobert, Minister for Education, Innovation, Gender Relations, and Sustainable Development. Mr. Darrell Raymond, General Manager of Rainforest Adventures, Rainforest Adventures team members, teachers and staff, students, media personnel, and other specially invited guests. A warm welcome. Today is indeed a momentous occasion, and we know that the kids in particular are very excited about the unveiling of the new playground. Rainforest Adventures has been operating in Babano for over 14 years, and we're proud to say that the company is well established and respected in the community of Babano. Throughout the years, We've always been involved in many community activities, and today is testament of our continued support to uplift the community in whatever way possible. I now invite Mr. Darrell Raymond, General Manager of Rainforest Adventures, to deliver a few opening remarks. Mr. Raymond. Today's opening of this play area for the Fawasa Preschool is a very special occasion and it's a long time coming. Today's ceremony marks the culmination of almost a year of planning because I believe it was in January of last year that Minister Ezekiel Joseph initiated the discussions with me and said this area, he had already secured this area, it had been fenced, the initial grassing had been done, the, and all that was needed was for us to come together to procure and install some play equipment. Naturally, it was our pleasure to agree to this, and we had planned to have everything in place for the reopening of school at the opening, after the Easter break last year. We were ready to go. However, as we all know, the COVID pandemic hit us, and we had to put our plans on hold until now. But God knows best, and everything happens at the right time. So today we can celebrate this momentous occasion. As a company, this project was a no-brainer for us. There are clear synergies, and this project ticked all the right boxes for us. First, we saw this as a pure and genuine example of a public-private sector partnership. Given the, the difficulties brought about by the COVID pandemic, no government, and indeed no private sector entity, has the resources to do everything that we want to do. So projects like this, when we can come together and pull our resources for a common good as something that we embrace and we hope to continue to, to undertake. Secondly, Rainforest Adventures believes in green spaces. We believe in allowing people to play and enjoy the natural environment. That is our ethos. That is what we are about as a company. So a project like this, naturally, we would embrace. Even more importantly, we believe that physical activity, particularly among our young people, is critical. So this space allows our young children to recreate and play and sets the foundation for their development. We also see this park as a place where members of the community at large can come. Families can come with their kids. So it will encourage community building and family cohesion and bonding. And also, most of our team members, we have about 90 staff. The majority of them are from this area and communities surrounding, many of whom have children who have either attended or currently attend this, this preschool. 
So it is our little way to give back and say thank you for the support that the Babano community has given us as a com company. You have guarded us jealously, guarded our infrastructure, provided us with extraordinary workers and team members. And for this, we say thank you. So in, in closing, I just want to implore the students, the teachers, and the parents to take care of this place. Take care of the infrastructure. Ensure that you use it safely. As a company, we will continue to play our part in maintaining the infrastructure, adding to it as we go along, and to ensure that it is, up, it is kept to a high standard. We also ask that in using it, you ensure that you follow all necessary health and safety protocols. Sanitize on a regular basis and follow the guidance provided by our health officials. So again, I thank everybody and wish you a very prosperous and successful 2021. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Raymond. As we continue, please join me in welcoming to the podium Honorable Dr. Gail Rigobert. Dr. Rigobert. Thank you, Madam, for ceremonies. My colleague, Minister, the Honorable Ezekiel Joseph, Parliamentary Representative for Babano, with your kind permission, can I greet the warm, beautiful people of this community as friends? Good afternoon, friends. It is so good to be here. On behalf of the Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations, we wish to extend our gratitude to Rainforest Adventures for their generous contribution to this play area. We note the great importance of play as a significant part of early learning and social development of young children. The engagement in play builds a child's creativity and imagination. It provides for the development of important social skills, such as learning to take turns, cooperating, getting along, and team building. Additionally, children develop their fine and gross motor skills in the simplest play activities, such as throwing and catching a ball. Play helps children learn to develop skills in expressing themselves and exploring their experiences, ideas, and emotions. We must also appreciate the great need for active children in the quest to keep healthy and maintain our well-being. At all stages, play is necessary for a child's social development, mental well-being, and maturity. It is with this in mind, therefore, that we applaud the efforts of the parliamentary representative in collaboration with Rainforest Adventures for the extraordinary effort at creating this social space in constructing this play area. This is a tremendous resource that will impact not only our children, but their families and indeed the wider community. Our pledge is therefore to use this facility effectively and safely so that our children may enjoy this space while we continue to contribute to their holistic development. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister. I now warmly invite our parliamentary representative for Babono, Honorable Isikel Joseph, to the podium to deliver his remarks. I want to start by expressing my appreciation to you, Mr. Raymond and of course to your company and, and your staff for considering the requests that we made, and I say we because it's a community made as it pertains to establishing this park. I want to say that when we had a site visit with the Mr. Raymond, myself, Mr. Raymond, and some members of my executive, the initial intention was 
to build a public toilet facility on this field. Because I'm sure you're quite aware of the work that has taken place on the Fonasso field as it pertains to the lights and, of course, other fields around Babono. And it's our intention as much as possible to see how we can improve the facilities at all of, of our fields. So when we had that site visit, something struck me and said, why, but Ezekiel, you have started this park and you have spent over $60,000 to reestablish this park as far as fencing and laying down the foundation and replanting the grass. Why don't you do ch change focus a bit and request from Skyride um, resources to put down the bits and pieces where our children can come out and play. And I must say that I was very delighted to see that the change of focus took place right away. From the day one, from the time I mentioned that, and say yes, that's, that, to me that's a better project <laughs> than, than the toilet <laughs> facility that you're talking about. It doesn't mean we're not going to continue developing our field, right? <laughs> but as you have heard before, there are a, num a lot of benefits to be derived by putting on this facility for our children. Because right now, unlike when we grew up, our children are more confined to in front of a the television. They're more confined to staying in the house and the question of going out and recreating building up their physical strength, building up their, their social skills, is very much lacking. So I want to echo the sentiments expressed previously that I'm really hoping that we can utilize this facility and of course to continue to maintain and upkeep this facility. We have discussed it, and again, apart from establishing this facility, Mr. Raymond has agreed to employ a full-time person, especially whilst we are speaking of the use of this facility by the students at the preschool, you heard Mr. Raymond speak of the use of this facility by the community. So definitely, by employing someone to be here full-time on weekends, we are hoping that the community can see the need for us to bring our children here and to recreate. And I want to say thank you very much again for agreeing to employ a full-time person to manage the operation of this facility on weekends. And let's give Mr. Raymond a round of applause for that, please. But the commitment does not stop here. We still have other packs to build. <laughs> and I can see that the bits and pieces are already in St. Lucia. And the next preschool that we'll be looking at will be the Lager Preschool. <laughs> and I've gotten a letter, Mr. Mi Madam Minister, from your PS approving the establishment of a playground at the Lage Preschool. Unfortunately, the delay is on our side. We have not fenced the area so that we can establish that preschool. But based on discussions, we are hoping that before the ending of this month, we shall see again another facility funded by rainforest in the Babono community. In Babono, we double up things. We only do one thing, we do many things. For example, we have free fields in, Lager, in Babono with lights. So whilst we are going to Lage with another facility, I'm sure as we, the, the publicity is out there, um, working along with Rainforest Adventure, putting them, establishing playgrounds, I'm sure the other preschools have been coming to me <laughs> for that type of support. I want to say that I'm really looking forward for us, and I say us, the community, 
showing appreciation as far as the maintenance of this facility. I would hate to come here and see it has been neglected, it's been abused. Because by showing appreciation, I'm sure we can get further support from private sectors to, for us to continue in that field. So once again, I want to, um, as parliamentary representative, express my appreciation to you, Mr. Raymond, and your staff, and your company, and of course, the Ministry of Education for agreeing to establish this facility. And I'm really looking forward to the students and children in the Fuaso, and by extension, Babono, because if you're going to open on weekends, we, we, we will not limit um, where the individuals come from. All we want is for them to utilize it in a safe manner, and of course, to enjoy whatever we have established. So thank you very much. And in closing, let us stay safe, because the numbers in Babono is not encouraging. So let us stay safe. Let us follow the protocols that has been established so at least we can see the reopening of our economy and, of course, the continued um, employment of our people who have lost their job from since March, April last year. Thank you very much.